morning, Apple Valley, and welcome to this Thanksgiving edition of Eagle Eye. I'm Katie Schutt. And I'm Tim Jensen. Today we will bring you several stories that focus on how ABHS students give back to the community. Last week, the Apple Valley role models gave their time to remind us about drinking and driving. Kyle Rosas has his story. With raising awareness about important issues at the top of their list, AVRM continued their positive impact on the school with Red Ribbon Week last week. Red Ribbon Week is set on by MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, um, and again that's one of our things where we're trying to send this message of, you know, don't drink and drive. The tying the ribbons on the antennas, that would be a way that, you know, just to keep you aware, okay, that red ribbon's right there, think, make you think about it. Um, Grim Reaper Day, just to make you think, geez, you know, somebody just died from a drunk driving, because it does happen. AVRM's efforts don't go to waste because of its tenacity. We do a bunch of different things just kind of to bring awareness to what um, are the cause in drunk driving and how it affects so many different people. It's not just, you know, after a mock car crash that we shouldn't drink and drive. It's not just before prom. It's not just before homecoming or graduation. It is all the time. Drinking and driving accidents happen all the time, year round, and it's one of those things where we just keep that message flowing throughout the year. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Kyle Rosas. Thanks, Kyle. Show your support by keeping those red ribbons on your car. Hey, Tim, aren't you pretty stressed with finals coming up next week? Oh, for sure. Don't you wish you could go back to those days in preschool? Oh, yes. Life was great. Well, the preschoolers in the facts child development class were given their diplomas yesterday. Levi Miller has the story. Turkeys, rice tables, and story time. Preschool was a time when life was simpler and snack time was right around the corner. Some AVHS students have the opportunity to go back to that right here in the child development class. It's really exciting to see the high school students um, interact with the kids and to prepare activities and watch the preschoolers learn. The students study child development and write lesson plans in the first part of the trimester. Weeks later, the preschoolers experience their work firsthand. Do you have story time? Mm-hmm. What's your, what's your favorite part about story time? Mm, down. In the end, the preschoolers are not the only ones doing the learning. The high schoolers involved also learn about themselves. It's, it's like fun to help them learn and see them like develop individually. Yesterday was the last day the preschoolers came to AVHS. Congratulations to the preschoolers on their graduation. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Levi Miller. Thanks Levi. As the giving season begins, some of you may be looking for ways to give your time to people in need. Eagle Eye reporters Liv Sherman and Allie Larson will fill you in on two popular service opportunities. One place everyone seems to be talking about is Feed My Starving Children, a nonprofit organization where students can go to package meals of chicken, vegetables, soy, and rice to be sent to malnourished children. And it all out across 58 different countries, mainly third world countries and developing nations. Last Thursday, many students found an easy way to get involved. We decided we wanted to volunteer, so we came in on walk-in night, and anyone can come in. It's really easy. In the hour and a half that we were here, we managed to pack enough food to feed 16 children for a year. It feels really good to be able to come in and do something like that. As an organization that gives, Feed My Starving Children loves those who give back. Every single thing that we buy, every single thing that we do is run off of the donations from volunteers. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Liv Sherman. Another great way to give back to the community is Operation Christmas Child. Last week, joint efforts from NHS and Student Council support this cause. Operation Christmas Child is a fundraiser to try to help raise gifts and money for underprivileged children across the world. Since this is the month of giving, why not give back? Here's why AVHS students personally get involved. Because it's really fun to give back to the community and it's cool to know that kids all around the world might be getting your present. You missed the deadline? Here's more opportunities to give back to this cause. Donate money to the foundation itself, or else you can go to the warehouse and you can donate your time to help put the boxes together. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Allie Larson. Thanks, Liv and Allie. I don't know about you, but I sure can't wait to eat some cone bread and turkey tomorrow. Oh, for sure. But be careful. You are what you eat. That's true, then. These people have already had a little too much turkey. Here's this valley view. Thanks, 
Chapel Valley and have a great Thanksgiving. Peace, Peace love, love, and turkey. turkey?